Once I've got that brick of coffee, after I destroy everything along my way, with that kind of mantra going, because I swear, what I run into is the opportunity is an excuse to me. The opportunity is a trap. That might be way fucking too street smart for some people. Goons versus goblins, my friends. But anyway, you know, when I do my live satirical comedy and do my generalizations like I did yesterday, there's half a reason why I haven't recorded that kind of shit, because I'm actually working on kind of keeping it anonymously in, in general and use real-world examples. Some people call that real talk. And, and by the way, two videos ago, you might have seen the state of my, my, nice, uh, my nice walking shoes. that I hand selected and were the only pair that were good. I fit the bill. Not quite enough ankle support, but I can always get a knee brace. You know, today was some monumental shit done. I finally found a 1-800 number to contact Prometica. So I could goddamn fucking get a, a general practitioner, I mean a primary caregiver is what they call it here in the States. Practitioner GP base. Anyway. So as I just got this super glue going, I just fucking almost jumped ahead of myself there. And I gotta let the my foot dry. It's like I said, it's a little misty weather. And at least I don't have to worry about carrying around all my international paperwork. As, um, that shit gets fucked with easy. Had it happen before. I came back from Canada with documentation and shit. One bad rainstorm. Gone. Now, you know, there's ways to get that paperwork back, but it's not easy. I basically have to go back to the Canadian consulate and make a thousand, fill out a thousand different forms. At least it's not England, or Britain, or Welshire, Manchester. Anyway, I have friends there I only visited, so that's it. You know. But that was Schengen's own shit. So, you know, I have a worldwide life. And people try to put me into a little box and go, What? This is what we thought you were doing? I'm like, Well, here's a penny for your thoughts. I was using my own damn motherfucking crazy ass international crisis as an example and kind of making light of it. <clears throat> so, as I'm sitting here putting these shoes back together with. Some actual, I got some real super glue, but I'm not telling you from where. You can pay me to know that. That's like you want an answer, you can pay me for it. Because that's where I'm going with this. If I have to drop effectively in the real world with the transferable skills. Then I'm my own blood. Then I'm my own syndicate. I'm my own mob. I'm my own stuntman. I'm my own advisor. You know what I have to, you know what I get to do? I don't have to, I got trust zones for this shit. Only time it becomes an actual necessity is if my survivability or sustainability is threatened. Then I have to put uh, what's been brought to my table under full review. Or in other words, if I'm deciding I'm dropping plates or flipping the table over. Say, this ain't my shit, get off my table. Bitch, I'll build a new one. It's like someone walk into me to be like, you got one shoe on, one shoe on, what's wrong? You got mental but I'd be like, uh, <laughs> you 
You smell that? I think you're hallucinating. Hold on, my my roommate is uh, back, so I gotta I gotta pause recording.